Oh, my dear sir, you have encumbered yourself with a difficult and curious charge. Permit me to while away the time for you with a pleasant tale of... <laughs> Son of a... Okay, who didn't see that coming? As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, once upon a time, two brothers of a great Native American Indian tribe were heading home after spending many years as apprentices to a powerful shaman. Passing through a forest, they saw a hunter filling the bones and skin of a dead bear into separate sacks. The brothers purchased the sacks to practice what they had learned from the shaman. Our father will be very impressed by our magic. He's sure to respect us now, said the eldest. The other tribes will tremble in fear before us, cried the younger. The eldest brother arranged the bones in the anatomy of the bear, then used his magical powers to provide flesh and skin over the skeleton while the younger one chanted a magical spell providing life to the animal. The bear rose up and, roaring fiercely, pounced on the brothers, tearing them limb from limb, until they were both quite dead. <laughs> oh, King, you are a highly intelligent being. Now tell me. Who is the stupidest of these brothers? And remember, there's that whole exploding head thing if you know the answer and don't reply. The brother who filled the bear with life is the most stupid. In spite of his learning, he did not have the common sense to know that a living bear could be dangerous. Only a stupid person would bring a dead bear back to life. Each person sees a slightly different world. Each of us lives in a slightly different world, the world of our own perception, the world of our own social action. And I wonder if everybody could talk about 